This demo shows how to use the Team Concert to start a new project and build a Windows executable. Two people are featured in this demo. Heather is a team lead in charge of starting a project and showing it to management. Chris is going to help Heather. He's a Visual Studio developer in charge of implementing the prototype. We start from nothing, a blank install of Rational Team Concert. As you can get it yourself, through the, our website on jazz.net in the download section. In the first part of the demo, Heather is going to set up the server, uh, create a project area, and add two team members. In the uh, second part of the demo, we will turn over to Chris, who is going to use the Rational Team Concert client for Visual Studio to create and check in source code for a Windows application. Then, in the final part of this demo, Heather is going to set up a build engine, a Jazz build engine, and uh, to automate the build process. And so she will be able to show to management how to access the resulting application, the Windows executable, from the web UI. Now let's get started with the uh, part one of the demo. The uh, first thing that Heather is, has to do is to uh, start the um, the Jazz server. Uh, after the download, she goes into the um, where she down unzipped the uh, Jazz server, and she will click on the uh, server startup bat file. This is going to open up, uh, start up the server, and um, run in this uh, in this console. There, it's a blank blank server. So now what she does is connect to the web UI as admin and add a couple of users so that she can get her project started. We go to user management and we're going to create those users. So Heather first creates a user for herself. going to give uh, Heather a contributor and developer's license. Now her account has been created. Heather is going to create the account for uh, the developer who is going to work with her on Visual Studio. Chris is going to get the developer's license, and he will also be in charge of the build engine. So we're going to assign him the um, the license for the build system. We save. Now the next thing we do is log out because we log in as admin, and uh, we log in as Heather. We're going to create a project area to host our project. And the first thing we have to do, because that's the first time we run the server, we're going to deploy a few process templates. Um, and um, that's one thing you do the first time you start the server. And after that, we will pick up a simple um, a simple process template, because that project is uh, very simple, has very few members. We don't need something sophisticated. Uh, we're going to give a name to that uh, project. Electronic voting platform. We're going to add a few users. Uh, now that the templates have been deployed, we're going to pick up one of them, uh, one with that's very simple. Uh, very minimum amount of R key, which is good when you start a new project with very small number of developers. And we're going to save. So 
So this is actually creating now this project area on the Jazz server that we have running on this uh, on this machine. And once that's done, we will have one more step to do uh, before our project is ready to be used. Uh, yeah, this is another nice thing you can do when you have added members to your project area is you can send them an email and that email will contain all the information they need to uh, to log in to the uh, use their Eclipse team, to use their um, team constant client uh, and log in to the uh, the Jazz server and that project area. We are going to assign their role to uh, each of those members. So they, in this process, which is very lightweight, they are all they are, they're simply uh, one role. It's team member. Heather has completed the uh, setup of her project. Now she's going to do one more thing. She's going to assign a work item to Chris so that Chris can start working on the implementation of, uh, of a prototype. That's the default dashboard that shows up for the project area that we have just created. We are going to create a work item. I'm going to say it's a task. I'm going to assign it to Chris. I'm going to say it's against our project area. I'm going to give some words of encouragement to that developer. And we're going to save this work item. So this is for the first part of the demo. Like We have uh, set up uh, an area in a project area in the server. And now we can switch over to Chris, who is um, go using the um, Rational Team Consult client for Visual Studio. And he's going to uh, use that to uh, build the um, initial um, iteration of the uh, that Windows application and share it into the Jazz server.